of the Chicago Bears is sleek and glossy today. Maybe it's because of the sudden return of Sid Luckman, best second story worker in the game. Sidney cleared it with the U.S. Maritime Commission, and so he and his mates tangle with the Cleveland Rams in Chicago. It's one of the top professional games in this league, where former college stars can now openly accept money for playing football. First quarter, and Colella of the Rams tries a quick kick, which is partially blocked by Captain George Wilson of the Bears, to start Chicago rolling. Soon after, Sid Luckman, the league's best aerial bomber, special deliveries it to Connie Berry for a 10-yard net, and the Bruins are bolded. Then the self-same Mr. Luckman, a ball-handling magician, gives it to Margarita, who scores for the Bears by hurdling the opposition in a jolting touchdown jaunt. But the Rams strike back soon. Johnny Long of the Bears wants to pass, but fumbles, and West of Cleveland takes over to commence the Ram comeback. Zantini, a former Notre Dame star, pegs one to West for a 26-yard gain, and the Rams are on the way. Now Jim Benton, one of the best pass receivers in the league, cashes in on Zantini's long loop into the end zone, and the score is tied. Luke John Sosa of the Bears, who coaches from the top tier via long distance, warms the wires with a few heartfelt suggestions. Before long, Chicago bounces back, Al Grigo hauling the mail for 32 on a trip that is brusquely terminated by Ram tacklers. Now Luckman mixes up a little aerial magic, and then it's a flat pass to Henry Margarita on a crucial play. Gary Familietti, 238-pound Bruin back, and the nearest thing to a stampede we know, catapults through the line, and almost immediately repeats with a stab to the big chalk stripe, as Chicago moves up six digits in the clear. Tom Colella, star passer of the Rams, is caught short, and enters the bear den by the wrong entrance. Bears ball now, and hard-driving Gary Familietti shatters the Ram battlements for 13 more in this rock-sock, crack-smack style of game, the kind for which football pads were made. Sid Luckman drops back and hurls it to Margarita, who proceeds to the Ram 18-yard line. In the payoff pitch, Luckman heaves a long pass to Connie Berry. It's deflected near the goal, but Berry holds it, and the Bears lead 21-7 at the half. Coming into the third quarter, a revitalized Cleveland team cannot be stopped. Albie Reese, high voltage back of the visitors, loops the leather to Jim Benton, who takes to the air himself and spears one in the clear, one of the year's best catches. Now Walter West takes charge, and the Ram runner rams down the runways for 12 more. And from the front door, Mr. West goes north the hard way to bring his team back into the contest. Shortly afterward, the Rams strike again. Albie Reese passes to Jim Benton, but it's ceiling zero for the Cleveland aerial artist. On this one, Reese connects to Benton, and the flashy flankman travels to the port side for 14. Still seeking a share of this year's title, west of the Ram lugs it for 13 more on a split reverse. And then the old favorite again. Reese heaves to Benton, who takes it three yards from the goal to outfox the Bears, and the score is tied. But the Chicago Bears didn't earn their reputation blowing soap bubbles at the opposition. And Al Grago soon returns a Cleveland punt to start the Bears' last quarter drive to break the tie. Watch this deception. Margarita stopped cold to set up the next run. It looks like a repeat, but Sid Luckman moves to his right and on a naked reverse gives it to Al Grago, who utilizes the finest of blocking to rack up the winning touchdown as the Bears climax a 28-21 victory over the highly rated Cleveland Rams.